you know, after high school, I just got involved with the one crowd and hanging out and cutting school. And my life went from down, from going down here to a deeper down here. But, you know, I was a teenager, so I didn't know, you know I didn't even know what I was doing. I picked up Joe's when I was 18 years old. Me working, me meeting the one people, me hanging out, my drug use escalated, my behavior escalated, and my lack of education just went down, down the hill. And I think I hit rock bottom when I came here. Basically, it was, is um, drug use destroys you until you can't take it no more. You know, Salvation Army Rehabilitation Center in Miami, that's where I was, um, I was diagnosed. You know, I took the swab and, and um, it came out positive. I freaked out. I totally freaked out. I thought my life was over. I didn't know how to deal with this virus. I, this virus has got, brought me down and I cried. To this, to this day, sometimes, I think well, everything that I've been going through for the last week is just the emotional part about it. Um, but um, like I said, that day is when I prayed and I found the swab and I said, well, once you take the blood test, we're going on to, well, no. This virus is about you. Everyone has a different virus or everyone thinks differently because we're all different. But if we help each other as a group and as a, as, as a community, we, one day, we'll find a cure for this. When is that? That's in God's hands, you know. This virus has helped me to think more. To this day, I am um, um, cleaning the drugs. I don't use drugs no more. Um, I'm not an addict no more. I don't, I, ba I passed through those stages of not, of not being an addict, from being an addict to a recovering addict to a positive person.